So Aries, let's see what's happening in your life, love life from your perspective. So in the recent past, you have made improvements in your relationship. You've been moving forward at a very steady pace. At the bottom of the deck, the overall energy coming in is the Six of Pentacles. You are willing to invest in the relationship. The current energy that you're feeling is the Two of Pentacles, you know, juggling different ideas. You are invested in this relationship. You're looking at different things that you're giving to the relationship, things that you enjoy about the relationship, what you get out of the relationship. And right now you're seeing a very high value in the current situation that you're in. The Emperor card really speaks to the fact that that's Aries energy. So there you are in your reading, Aries. And this is all about you taking a leadership role. As the situation looks here, you feel as though you have a lot of power in the relationship to really influence the outcome, to uh, be a leader, to show kind of the beacon of light you know, be the be the leadership and be who you want the relationship to be. And you're being very strategic about it. You're giving a lot of thought to what you're doing, what your actions are. I really like that. It's good energy for you. When we look at how you view the other person, you see this person as your ship that's arrived in the harbor. So when we look at this energy, you certainly are invested with this person. You want things to work out with them. And, you know, right now you're in a very strong building mode. You don't always know exactly what direction to take. For some of you, this Two of Pentacles is also, could be juggling job and, um, you know, financial responsibilities. How you feel in your heart space towards your person, the Tower card. You feel pretty shocked at the fact that the relationship looks as though it almost collapsed. The Tower card is a card, you know, it's, it's about the shock and awe, the epiphany. So in your heart space, you know, you're really looking at this holding, you can see she's holding on to the tower. She doesn't want it to collapse. And I really see a strong motivation in you that I think has kicked in your leadership role in this relationship to keep this person in your life and to make sure that you're not adding to any crises that have gone on. It looks like the two of you have faced crises that have almost, you know, destroyed, I think, your affection for them. But we're going to clarify, as always, how you view the situation going forward. Well, you're invested. You're content. You want to be down to earth. You want to be practical. Um, what's hidden from your partner is that you do see them as a very good lover. So, in my viewpoint, I don't think you necessarily tell your person because this is a hidden energy. You do feel that they're a soulmate. You do feel as though there is a lot about them that you really adore, that you really like, you think is unique. You have a lot of regard for this person. You know, you see this bird with a top hat. So, you know, it's almost like, well, I like my exotic bird. You know, he's different. You know, he's not always fashionable. He's not always the most handsome guy in the room. But, you know, he's unique. He's interesting. So I like that energy for you. The lover's energy is always all about making a choice. And it does show that you are choosing to have your partner in your life. Spirit's advice for you at this time is a star card. You know, the star card is healing energy. It's hopes and dreams for love come true when you have healed yourself, when you have looked at yourself, when you are kind to others. But the star card is hopes and dreams for love manifesting in your life. So Spirit is saying that this relationship has what it takes to bring about a lot of happiness, abundance, and whatever your dreams for love are, it has a capacity to deliver. So your short-term outcome this week is the Hierophant card. You know, that's you really living up to your ideals. That's you uh, being consistent with what you want in life. The Hierophant's a very traditional relationship. It is a relationship in which you're very steady, you're very reliable. Um, you know, you bring your best self to the table. You're, an, you're standing on pretty high moral ground here. You're doing what suits you in this relationship in a way that 
is helpful, which is honorable. So right now we see this relationship in a very steady sort of energy, but we're going to look at that tower card because that is a very intense card to have in your heart space, feeling almost as though you have to hold the relationship together through some sort of tumultuous event, some sort of argument. A lot of times tower card is a, is a bad argument. <laughs> and I just flipped the cards out. Okay, hold on one second here. Uh, they're tiny little cards, so sometimes they're not the easiest to shuffle. Okay, so let's see what we have. So let's look. I like your love life this week. It looks basically very, very good with the exception of the tower and your heart space. And so I also think when I see the tower card, it's very volatile that in your heart space, you might struggle with your person. And what I'm getting here is that you, when you get confused about what this person is doing, when you don't really understand what's going on, um, you start to feel very much sad. You feel like this person owes you an apology. You probably would get an apology. Let's see what else we have here. The Four of Wands. What you want is a stable foundation. And we can see that because she's trying to hold this building together. So it does look like you're very much geared to trying to get over sadness, trying to get over confusion and very much in the activity of trying to create a strong foundation in this love relationship. Tell us more about the heart space for our Aries friends. Let's see what we have here. What do we have for you? We have also the Father of Cups. So that's Scorpio energy, and Scorpio energy is very intense energy. You share with Scorpio the planet Mars. So both of you tend to be very active in your relationships, oftentimes taking that leadership role with the planet Mars. But what we're seeing here is that you have really, you've calmed down, like whatever was going on that was churning you up at a time previous in the relationship, and it's different for different people, it really shows that you've got your emotions under control, you know, you're really looking at whatever your part was in the in this argument or series of events that made you feel the relationship could come apart. You're taking very positive action right now. And we're going to momentarily, of course, look at your partner. Four of Swords, you're all about healing the relationship. So that's your side of the relationship. So now we're going to do, this is going to be kind of a you versus them. Um, but we're going to look at the same information in terms of how they're feeling and see what we have there. So let's look. So Aries, I really like this for you. It does look as though you feel as though you avoided a near a disaster in a relationship for those for whom it resonates. So let's see what your partner is feeling simultaneously. I am a full-time reader. I have been vetted with over almost 8,000 ratings that are independent. I have no influence over them. And uh, on a personal reading basis, I am uh, highly sought after and I do it full-time. So uh, this isn't a hobby for me. So anyway, if you want a personal reading, I am available for them. And the it's at irishdonna.com. Okay, so let's see your person at the bottom of the deck. Okay, they want to bust out of a feeling of being in prison. Seven of Wands. Your person tends to be defensive. I think that in the past they've had relationships that required that of them you know but they want to bust out of this prison they want to have more freedom with you they want more freedom of expression they want more freedom to sort of come forward they do love you you can see the love tattoo right here on the chest but they have a lot of strength in this relationship they think the relationship is is a good one but they do know that they hold themselves back way too much so in the recent past, their energy towards a relationship was to make an absolute decision. Uh, you've got Archangel Raphael protecting the relationship. Judgment card means that there was a time in the past when they thought of letting it go. Um, they felt, but you know, when we look at the, this is a card of karma. So they did do some introspection and 
currently the energy that they have is a high priestess. So the high priestess is a very nurturing energy. It's a very quiet energy. It's the high priestess is actually has a lot of healing capabilities. Um, but we see a person being very quiet. Uh, they do have a lot of emotion in this relationship. They're very much trying to be nurturing because it's Cancerian energy. They're very psychic also about their perception of you and what you're feeling. In terms of how they view the situation, well, they view themselves as coming to the table with a very high level of skill, but they view you as the same way. So in the relationship, they bring a lot to the table. You know, we see this, we see somebody who has a beautiful hat and a bird and dress very beautifully. So your person has a lot that they bring to the table. They feel the same way about you. They feel as though you're highly skilled, you're desirable, that you can have a good life together. How they view you, Aries, the hanged man. This is taking a wait and see attitude. They're trying to look, they view you as somebody who views life very differently than they do. So they view you as someone who is trying to also look at things from a different perspective. They feel as though right now you have put yourself in a hanged position to try to view the relationship in a way that will be less volatile because we saw the the tower cards a volatile card so they see you as being in a very calm meditative state that's how they view you in their heart space oh look at this you're magical to them so when we get the card of the magician they see you in their heart space as someone with whom they can feel a deep and abiding love that they can work through problems that your communication is really good that the chemistry is magical that the virgo energy both of you really are hard workers you want the same things or similar things but that is also sexual chemistry my friends magician is a very powerful indicator of love and attraction when we look at how they view the future good the justice card that's the seventh house house of libra they want to sign contracts they want to be balanced they want to make a commitment their intention is to do so the justice card is libra energy and again on the astrology wheel it rules uh, commitment marriage uh, long-term uh, partnerships so that's a great energy to have. And they themselves are trying to stay very balanced. What is hidden in their energy field about this relationship and with you, Aries, is that they look very serene on the surface. But beneath the surface, they have a lot of very intense love, emotion, desire to please. They want this to work out. It's Scorpio energy. So you have affected them in a very deep and profound way. Spirit's advice is for them to move slowly and steadily and to do the work. Virgo is all about solve problems, do the work, show up every single day. Proceed forward with a good, good effort, good intention, and good will. So that is what they're doing. Short-term outcome is a four of wands. Nice. Now, this is a card that can be marriage, so you've got Libra energy. Now, if the two of you don't want to marry, what this really speaks about is that you probably either live together or planning to live together, you're buying a home together, or you may be moving into a house. So this is all about stability. Both of you are in a very good place this week that is uh, very careful after a period of that volatility with the tower card. So let's go ahead and clarify. I want to clarify the Cancerian planet of the High Priestess here. What is the High Priestess about? What is the secrets that they're keeping? Your person, I think, is secretive or they're, they're not a person who likes to talk too much about what they're up to or what they're doing in terms of their heart space, in terms of their emotions. So let's see, Ten of Cups, beautiful. Ten of Cups is a marriage card. It's a happily ever after. It's a commitment card. You know, 
Uh, Ten of Cups is all about you've reached that point of happiness. Your person believes in their heart space right now that they've never been happier in a relationship than they are with you. So it's very much lends itself to the idea of being very committed in your relationship to the love affair long term, whether you get married or not. So when we look at, oh, I like this, the Ace of Cups came out. It's a beginning and it's a re rebirth of love that's been around for quite some time. I think for many of you, this relationship is not a new relationship. I think it's really, it's, you know, you've really weathered the storms. You've been together for some time. There's a lot of stability here. Mother of Cups, Cancerian energy again. Your person may have a lot of feminine energy that's very nurturing, that's very emotional. You know, Cancerian energy is very sentimental. But again, with that High Priestess card, it tells me that they don't really show that. They feel it, but they they don't show it. Um, I feel very much, Aries, that you know that, okay? Why do we have the Seven of Wands? Why was their overall energy feeling very guarded, but wanting to break out, wanting to break out of feeling guarded? What is this about for Aries friends? We have the Ten of Coins, okay? They want to build a legacy with you. They want to live together. They want to be committed to you. They want this to be basically very much a till death do us part kind of energy. Um, they're committed. They want to be able to feel safe enough to do that. Uh, they want to be feel like the relationship is very reliable and that there's not going to be a ton of sadness because I do think that the two of you with that tower card in your reading, Aries, I think indicates that this person has, you both felt a lot of sadness within the realm of this relationship. Why that? Why the sadness? Let's see. Eight of coins. Well, getting to learn how to have a relationship together, getting to know each other, getting to understand each other. And okay, good. You know, we have the hanged man again. Um, hanging out together and just really getting to know the inner workings of one another and to, to enjoy it for what it is. Okay, why do they see you as the hanged man? Why do they see you? The hanged man. Okay, world. They feel as though you've stepped into a higher level of uh, healing, a lot of what's gone on. They do see you as a person who needed to heal some things from the past. It looks as though they think that you were juggled or treated badly in the past by someone and that you, you know, you carry those wounds into the situation with them and the magician they feel once again you are a magician we saw that we see this right here your person feels as though there's something innately magical about you you're unique in that you have all the tools that you need to have whatever you want they think that you're amazing they think that you're very powerful in your own right they feel as though you know, when you are on on your A game, so to speak, that there's just nothing you can't do. I love it. Chemistry again. They feel the chemistry from you. They feel chemistry towards you. What else do we have here? What do we have for the, the King of Cups? Why is it here? Eight of Wands. Wow. So your person feels physically attracted to you and feels a passion that never seems to go away. So whatever the length of this relationship is, and I think for many of you, it could be five years, it could be more, it could be, but I think it's several. And so what I'm seeing here is your person is actually quite surprised at the fact that you inspire them in the very best way let's see we also see that your person uh secretly it, and i think this is where the tower came in before it does look as though when they become uncertain when they become fearful they do they have thought of walking away so that i think is representing that tower card also is that you know there may have been such there may have been words spoken to that effect in this connection 
And now look at this, nine of coins, nine of coins, nine of coins. They see this as a situation and a relationship that is two independent people. I don't think you're married because of the nine of coins. I've seen it twice. I feel as though they, they feel as though you are a wonderful match for them that the two of you are very well paired, you're both magicians, you're both the Nine of Pentacles, that this relationship is as good as it gets. So that's, I mean, the rest of the energy really speaks for itself. So let's look and see what we have here for your destiny in this relationship short term. What does, what's a challenge about the destiny for the love life? of Aries in this particular week. It's a very positive reading. Wow, Aries, Aries. Best, your readings last year were, were touch and go, but this is exceptional. Aries, look at you. Joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. Nice message. Sending you love from Chicago. Leave in the comments where you're watching the video from and send some love back. Thank you, Aries. Bye-bye.